Hello everyone, welcome back to the special in the last episode. Let's just forget what happened here, okay? And let's start something new, because new is always good in the swamp, because we're gonna be meeting some familiar folk. And look, we get Fox and Diddy Kong again! Hooray! So yay, we get to use two people we haven't seen in ages. So I we also get to see um, Nintendo enemies for the first time in ages too, because, well, you know. Actually, no, in the cave we saw some Nintendo enemies, but, um. Uh, seriously, I wish we could see those alligate, those crew, K, King K, whatever you call them, enemies here. I mean, seriously, they don't make this level a lot more Nintendo y instead of just Koopas and Goombas and occasional hammer bros. I mean, seriously, Nintendo. Oh, shoot! I knew that was gonna happen. Oh, well, I, I believe in this level there's a lot of refuel stations, so, uh, we should be A-OK -okay, -okay, as long as we don't fail this first section, because, yeah. I know what happens in a second because I. Game? Are we gonna have a repeat episode of what happened last episode? Really, game? Really, game? You wanna put me on that side again? Okay! Uh, whatever. Great, I, I already almost lost. I already lost two lives in the first area. That's just. Grand! Grand? Is it grand? Oh wow, bull bills. Yeah, they, bull bills are mean in this game because because they do so much damage and they and whatever, whatever, what do you call it? I don't know. Um, down there is a health item you probably should get, it, even though this bull bills jerk was placed there to you know mess with you. Uh, it's annoying, I tell you. Thankfully, we had enough to recover all of our HP, so it's all good. Um, this level, um. It's annoying, I'll tell you that. Especially one mini boss, infamous mini boss. Oh, sorry to be here. That's not my door breaking up. Yeah, yeah, but the, the mini boss we're gonna be facing this is very infamous for being very hard and cruel, especially in the later. Okay, just please just make it to the door so I can have a checkpoint. I can go to instead of just starting the whole level over again. I really appreciate it. I guess really. But nope, you don't. So we have a, a up scrolling area now. We kinda have to be careful of it because we'll get smashed to smithereens and whatnot. Um just use the ladder. The ladders are your best bet because well Diddy and we gonna call it. Um, wait, well, Diddy and, uh, Fox can't jump very well. So, and here's a, um, a hidden door where we can have health. And uh, another thing, if you jump right up here, you can actually get air boost so you can reach up here for a secret item. Actually, this is on my very first playthrough. Uh, the hidden message this game has. It's so hard, I say. And sorry for the door again, um, I don't know, I don't know if you hear. I don't really care, I made a checkpoint error, I really don't care anymore. Yes, 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 game over, game over here, game over there, I don't care. See? What did I tell you? Even though the end of the, I mean, the refill station was just beyond this area, which kind of ticked me off. Okay, now I'm increasing the game over counter to over 900 now. Great. Well, let's enter the store, and here we have the next area. Well then. Wow, oh, Fox, you really are good in the matrices, aren't you? Oh dear, something tells you this is gonna be a very, very cliche. Oh god. You know what interests me? How come that Diddy Kong that that, that Bowser just made doesn't do anything right here? I mean, seriously, all this could be avoided if that Diddy did something, but nope. I guess for plot convenience. Oh, here's Falco, by the way. Another fan favorite for Melee because he's so dang broken in it. I wouldn't really blame you, though. Falco was kind of cool in this game, so. And even though I hate people who want to use him because he's so cheap. So, with the power of more bugs, this guy grew. And here we have the most 
one of the harder mini bosses of the game. Um, hmm. right, let's use Falco Fox D. How is this guy hard? Well, just watch the fight for yourself, and you'll see. Because since this dude is technically mega size, he can KO you in one hit since his potential. But thankfully, since he's so big, you could do this all day. Yeah, but thankfully, since he's so big, it's hard for him to hit you. So I guess that's a plus. Suppose. Yeah, this guy's also really hard to kill too because of the cheap AI that he has. Uh, since this guy likes to pull around, uh, it's really hard to hit him too, and I was really hoping he could do it if I was getting dying, but of course, nope. Oh, watch out if he grabs you too, that's like an instant kill too. Uh, it's kind of weird a lot. When he does his banana move, he actually gets a mini sized banana instead of a mega sized banana. I mean, you could have used that, you know, that mega banana from Mario Kart double dash again. I mean, seriously. Eh. Oh, and I surprisingly actually did pretty good on that boss battle. I usually do really bad in that battle. Oh, well. And once again, Diddy is going to use his monkey talk to convince Falco to join. And Diddy just does that again with Fox saying, uh, You know, if only in the melee days we would all beat him his sorry butt to pieces, but nope, it's not melee anymore. So yeah, here's the next part of the, of the level, which uh, is a pretty uh, interesting level because, um, well, it's water, it's kind of water based, but. But most of the time you'll be going on hey, this area half the time, so I guess that's there's that I suppose. Any of these stupid annoying Koopas that annoy you to death half the time. So, um in the first part of the level we can just use these weird dashing we saw in the Kirby games to to get major distance, I suppose. Oh, mine, oh, this this part's kind of annoying to become a reflector because you can just reflect their hammers back at them. Oh, and yeah, those stupid... What you call those dash things? I wish there was dash items in this game. How cool. I don't know. Oh, here we have another barrel section. Um, you want to be kind of careful in a second because there's actually, um... Um, uh, a secret door you can miss if you hit the wrong barrel, like... Like, not a secret, but I mean, a, a hidden bonus area if you don't use your cards right. But thankfully, I recovered from it, so it's not too bad. Alright, so you want to hit more, or do the old fashioned way and do that. Oh, well, it's close enough. Come on, just hit the thing, please. Okay, thank you. On to the next part of the level. And look, we have a rainbow! Yay! And it's playing Yoshi Music too, which is kinda okay, but honestly though, eh. None, none of these characters are Yoshi related, so it's kinda weird seeing Fox and Falco here. And again, I think that's the whole point of the genre series, put characters that you don't really see in their remote games in really weird areas, like this area for instance. Oh, gold box right there. Pretty easy to get. Unless it happens to fall in water, then you're pretty much screwed. Which this game can do sometimes, which is a pretty jerkish move sometimes, I tell ya. Oh okay, yeah, seriously, Falco. Your recovery sucks. Maybe not to point that overall taunt video. They make fun of how horrible your recovery is. Whoa, I got two trophies there. That is unique, I suppose. Oh, secret door over here. Pretty hard to miss. I mean, pretty easy not to miss, so yeah. Oh, here's our jerk thing, too. After you get all those collectibles, you probably want to head to the exit room, right? Nope, because there's a hidden thing down here if you hit it just right. Yep, there's a trophy that you have to get in order to get 100%. Pretty jerkish, I tell you. So let's just... Falco or wait! Wow. Oh, eh <laughs> Karma for doing all that to my favorite characters all day. Jerk. Mm -hmm. 
but this is actually one of my f more favorite levels because you have all these springs you can use to launch yourself to cool areas like this. It might it uses Sonic logic, which is rare nowadays. You get Sonic games. The fan base is never happy with that. Seriously, I'm not gonna go into that discussion because I am tired of it. Oh no! Oh wow! Really? Jerks. Oh, we have one more skirmisher, and this one's annoying as heck because because you have stupid red Koopas that home it on automatically on you if you don't. And if you let them fall in the water, they just respawn. I mean, really? Uh, yeah, this is where you're gonna lose half your lives on because of this stupid area. And since they do so much damage, and they, in, once you land water, you can't do anything. This is like a guarantee. You're gonna, you're, you're screwed, area. And how do you pull those homing on you? You usually don't want homing here to start going. Once, uh, feel brawl logic. I mean, well, also close dodge. Oh, oh shoot. Oh shoot. Oh god. Okay. Yeah, and this area is pretty easy to die because of that. Uh, whatever, we're right there. The only way to die is something stupid happens, and that's not half because I aged the level, and we're done because... Yeah, because, oh, you can see, um, DK being chained even though he's in a trophy form. That's pretty stupid if you ask me. That's like over security mode. See, what's so valuable about DK, honestly? I don't honestly more, be more worried about Man Knight, to be honest. Oh look, it's the Great Fox! Ah, uh, whatever, 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 I tell ya. Uh, okay, and um, oh, I missed a trophy somewhere. That's weird, I thought I got everything in that stage. Oh well, you, um, I guess I'll meet you back guys up again when I get that trophy for this video, so I'll see you guys then.